Hello everyone, welcome back to a new YouTube cast. Today we're going to be having a look at a best of three between Zest and Solar played in the most recent Oli League. So we see Zest opening up with his, uh, his trademark hatch block, really. Look how fast he's on the map already. I think this might even be able to block a 14 hatch, honestly. I think it would have been, right? To eh, maybe barely not. 35 seconds in game he arrives. That's the first probe that he sends out, I believe. Jeez, that's fast. He's most likely going to be going into Glaives. We've been seeing Glaives almost every single game from Zest in the past months, I want to say. Um, Oracle is a mere afterthought at this point for him. As we have uh, Solar over here. Should be very familiar with the playstyle that Zest has as well. Let's see if he can figure out what it's going to be. Now Zest has two main build orders here that he kind of mixes up in a uh, in a random order. So we have the 3-gate DT with 4 adapt opener and we have the, the obviously the the 8 adapt or the 12 adapt, just the, the glaive adapt build, 4-gate glaive adapt. And both of them look very similar from the Zerg perspective. Ooh. We have a Corby for Nexus here. Now, it's important for Solar to realize this. A Corby for Nexus allows the Protoss player to get faster adapts out on the map, faster um, faster warp gate as well. But it does have a downside in that it is worse economically and especially in the gas count. You see the gas is being taken after the pylon. Um, so gas count is going to be a decent amount lower. And in general, I think you have one and a half probes less with this opener. Now, you might make up for that because you do get such a fast adapt out and also a very fast second adapt out. You see adapt warp gate on the way, two links being built on the th natural base and two links being built in the main. Now, these two links from the, I guess, the natural base with the third base location should go straight across the map. Um, <clears throat> they should not care about whatever the hell this probe does. Because against something like uh, Core First, it's extremely important that you get two links on the other side of the map to force the second adept to stay home. But I think Solar's just going to be a little bit too slow, honestly, over here. First adept already on the other side of the map. Queen is barely just now uh, getting out of his base. And we see uh, Zest keeping the second adept home for now. Stargate as a follow-up. Oh my god, he's... Absolutely switching up with that core first, quick block on the natural. And like I said, I thought that Zest only had been playing Glaives. I really did believe that. Now we see Sa Solar. I almost said Serral there. It's definitely not Serral. Um, getting in and actually getting the scout on the target. Now that's important because now he can just continue queen production. He can start getting spores. Um, no fast road warren is required, gas mining is not required, so these are a lot of big tells here for Solar, which he's going to be very happy to receive. Um, of course, this stalker hugging this pillar is also a big tell that most likely this overlord is going to get attacked soon. There's no second gate. Okay, second gate starts now. A little bit of uh, creative movement here by Zest to get that, uh, that one adept home. Kills a couple of links. First oracle just popped out now. It's going to be able to force this overlord at least to move away from this pillar. Um, is it going to be good enough though? That's of course the question. Like, Is it going to be good enough to kill this overlord as the overlord moves away? There's nothing really to fight this stalker. So yes, this overlord will end up falling in the end. Robo facility going down. Double gas really quick. This is looking an awful lot like these old... Um, Templar Archives builds the, the Archon drop follow-up from Double Oracle, which is not popular at all anymore. I haven't seen this build in, in eons, I want to say. So we have two Oracles making their way across the map. Third base is going to be delayed. This will ring a couple of alarm bells in the head of Solar. It's like, hey, wait a second, what's kicking off over here? <clears throat> As it is interesting to note, that it's going to be an Archon drop. Road Warren is on the way, of course. Solar seeing the complete lack of a third base probably will produce a couple of roaches. Now, once again, this late third base can indicate two things. One, it can indicate double Stargate Phoenix. Two, it can indicate something like this, an Archon Drop or perhaps a Glaive Adept Attack. Now, of course, Archon Drop and Glaive Adept Attack require a similar response in that you need roaches. Um, but again, 
Stargate, you definitely want something else. Like you want you want queens, not roaches. And so far we see no roach production. So Solar might be pinning this on a uh, on a double Stargate so far. What's the damage? Three workers have gone down so far. Three, four, five, six. Six more workers go down just like that. Good micro there by Zest. Sloppy defense by Solar. I was very slow at pulling away these workers. Poor Overlord spread as well, by the way. There's absolutely no vision on the corners. Very, very poorly done there. Hydra then going down. Roach Warren into Hydra. And I think Solar might be playing a little bit too greedy. We have a 44 worker Protoss player here. Who's going to be going up to six gateways. Um, there is a prism with two Archons. And there's going to be a six Zealot warp in very, very soon. These two... Oracles might be building some stasis at the main and the natural. I mean, there's not a single unit out that can fight these Arcos. I mean, there's 12 links. That should not be enough. The links start going down right now. Good pickup micro here by Zest. Oracle's not really doing too much as of now. We have a lot of Zealots being warped in, but all of them are at home. I wouldn't have minded some aggressive warpings here. It's not like Solar is not going to be building any roaches. He's already at 61 workers. He's not going to be building any drones from this point on. Um... And this is really quite all in here by Zest, who is... Uh, he was honestly just saving up Zealots at this point. More Hydras, or well, more units on the way. In this case, Hydras. These Oracles haven't really done anything in a while either. I think this guy just tried to do something. I'm not sure what. Oh, just gone in for an attack. <clears throat> and ever since this Archon drop started, we haven't seen a single drone being produced. Good play there by Solar. Um, I'm not quite sure if he has enough units, so how many roaches is this? It's only 9 roaches, 14 zealots are marching in, 6 more get warped in immediately, and in combination with the archons, the oracles, and the micro that Zest usually showcase, I think this might just be enough. Well, archon getting very low, GG gets called as Zest takes game number 1 in this. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game number 2. Between Solar and Zest once again, we have a fast move out here by Zest with that one of those first probes. And we're going to be seeing an Overlord into most likely going to be a 17 hatch coming out of Solar. Um, usually, of course, you want a 16 hatch, but as the 16 hatch will get blocked on the natural, Solar will add an extra drone going to that 17 hatch now. This map, what do we have here on this beautiful map? I'm looking for this stupid animal. Where are you at, Ursadon? I know you're around there somewhere. Maybe we can see it through the four four. That'd be a pity. So yeah, we're gonna see uh, Solar get blocked. Builds a 17 drone. He's gonna go into a 17 hatch. Ooh, quick chase there by uh, Zest. Then goes back here to try and block. It's pretty cute play. Pretty cute play. Zest gonna be getting that gas in the main base for now. Does this probe uh, start heading into action? Denying those minerals. Pool goes down as well. I'm curious to see if Zest is going to be playing any similar core first. As we see the probe head into the natural. Where that nexus usually is located. So it would surprise me if um, we would see that. So here we have a probe just running around. Trying to do stuff. Trying to just deny some mining. Always want to be getting further ahead. I, I believe if you deny a, a, a patch completely for the duration until links are out, you win about 25 minerals. So that sounds like not that big of a deal, but of course that is five trips of a single worker, which is kind of a big deal. So um, yeah, something that's, that's just important to note is that these little things actually do add up and they do matter. Perhaps not if you do it once, like a, a three minerals or four minerals isn't that big of a deal, but you get 20, 30 minerals that might delay speed, might delay a second queen, might might just delay something that could help defending against an oracle or against two adepts. So um, that kind of thing usually compounds over time. I see the Stargate coming down once again for Zest, who uh, seems very keen to play some Stargate. Seems to be very keen to play some Stargate. That's interesting. That is very, very interesting because we haven't seen this from him in a while. Well, we saw the last game. Of course, there was a bit of a trick there. Let's see how he's going to be faring this game. What is the plan for Zest? Is he indeed going to be getting uh, a 6 gate again? I doubt it. 
it seems unlikely that it's going to play a similar opener that is so based on deception and overly aggressive play twice in a row. It's difficult for me to imagine. Instead, it's a Phoenix first. Now, Phoenix first can go into a lot of things once again as well. You're going to deny this scout 100%. Luckily for Solar, there's only a single Overlord on this side of the map. <clears throat> only a single Adept as well. He's going to be going into three gates. And he shows the third gate in the face of Solar. That's interesting. Because... If I was Solar, I'd be so afraid that this might be a mind game that I might not react to it. Yeah, I was saying, this looks so much like a um, like a Twilight Council build. This is such a weird build order, honestly. And here come the Lynx trying to get a... Uh, <coughs> I'm not actually quite sure what these Lynx want. I guess they want to force something out of this Oracle. And they do get a... A use of the Pulsar Beam and they're gonna go back in immediately. I like that. This is good play. Once the second Adept is out, it won't be possible anymore, but two Adepts will come out of that. Twilight finishes up. Do we see any kind of upgrade? Not yet. Once again, I guess it's a little bit later this time. Not that fast. I was gonna say fast gas once again, but that's just not true. Here yeah, we're gonna see... Oh my god, Solar, what are you doing? Not having a Spore ready, not having double Queens ready. In any of the base, really. Not having spores ready anywhere. Uh, loses three drones and forces a full drone pool. Very good start once again here. For Zest, now Solar. You've seen the three gates. You need a Rotorn. There we go. Rotorn goes down at 4.35. It's pretty late. Still going to be in time, though, for Glaives, I believe. I mean, is it really going to be in time for Glaives? Glaze is about uh, 30 seconds away from finishing. I don't think these... I think the road run might be done, but I don't think Roaches will be done. This is a weird shape. Gonna be losing one Adept here. It kills a couple of links for it. Now, this is cool because it does force some links, which is helpful. What else do we have here out of Zest? There's no real follow-up. He's just floating money for now. Um, Glaze is about to finish up. But his timing isn't tight. He's not in position yet. If he would have finished a shade when the glaives finished, he would have about 10 seconds where there's no roaches. And that could be a really big deal. But now, so many roaches on the way. Queens are kind of in semi-in position, I would say. Roaches are moving forward. Oh, 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 oh. Couple of links going down as well. Three drones have fallen so far. Nexus on the way, but it starts very, very late. Not a big fan of this build order so far by Zest. Hasn't really been able to uh, do too much damage here. Six workers have gone down overall, but with his third being so late, and with his unit count being so low, I don't quite know if that's going to be enough. How many oracles do we have in the map? Only a single one, I believe. So counterattacks are a real possibility here. I think that's what we might just see here from Solar. And sure, this this looks kind of safe, right? There's a wall, one battery can do a lot of work. Not this far forward, just a little bit further to the back. Don't want it to get biled immediately. This third base is a massive liability at this point for Zest, and I don't see any way for him to really hold it. Voidray being chrono boosted out as well. Once the Ravager comes, a couple of Ravagers. This Oracle has plenty of energy, and you could use it for sure, but you should be using it to kill either Ravagers or Lynx. Don't go on Roaches. I'm gonna end up killing one of these Cocoons. Voidray is out right now, and this third base is gonna be given up, at least temporarily. SS realizes there's no way for him to hold it. it. Really sucks for Zest, honestly, because right now he feels pretty ready all of a sudden. He was just 3-4 seconds late. If he gets force fields here, 1, 2, decent force fields. Uh, yikes. Solar's like, hey, I don't think you're quite ready yet, buddy. And he turns around, kills the Immortals, gonna be able to kill this... Oh wow, very close on the Void Ray as well. Sentry's dying, these Ravagers will end up falling, which is kind of a big deal, but we don't see a third base on the way yet for Zest. Very slow at rebuilding. I'm too busy at probably microing his units, which can't really fault him for that, but it's not ideal. 56 workers versus 56. Is there an evil chamber done? No, there's not yet. Roach Speed is on the way. 
and we're on five gas here for solar who's going to continue roach production i love to see an infestation pit at this point i think this is such a swarm host game where charge is so late archons are going to be hitting so late the next aggression that zest is going to be able to do is going to hit extremely late um and thus Swarmost is just a good call. Now Solar instead will be going for some kind of Roach Ravager type play. You see five gases, lots of Roaches being produced, lots of links being produced. Curious to see what will end up happening here. So we have one Overseer making its way across the map. Five Ravagers being built already. I'm not sure if Solar is playing defensively or aggressively. Like maybe he believes he's gonna be all in. No, Solar starts moving out to Queens. Well, I'm not even sure if you can call this walking. Literally crawling, inching their way forward across the map. Um, we'll be able to deal with that Void Ray and Oracle eventually, but it's gonna take a while to get there. 66 workers for Zest, who's getting a lot of batteries as well. He has a couple of force fields ready. We'd love to see a stasis. There we go. Solar sees the stasis go down. He's gonna be able to throw one bile on that. It's gonna be very, very helpful. That runs in one link, also very helpful. Oh, these batteries are gonna get on. Good bows coming out of solar. Storm is done in 10 seconds, but ooh, oh, Ray almost dies. Nuclear battery gets activated. Um, good first storm. Void Ray does end up dying, and oh, second good storm. This is a very, very good defense so far here by Zest. Problem is, of course, yes, no real upgrades. Um, no damage upgrades and these ravagers are so, so big in, in numbers at this point there is six batteries which in theory should be enough right like six batteries that sounds like a lot that's more than five five is more than four so four is a high number very very tight defense here by says who's getting another immortals not getting corona boosted out right now once the next nuclear battery is ready i think solar's going to be in a world of trouble um, is there any reinforcements? Yes, but they're all roaches, so they're slow getting across the map. Batteries are getting depowered. Zest can't really repower them with that prism for now. Immortals coming out. Where are these bowels hitting? On these charge lots. On these units. I think this is just going to be it, honestly. I, I don't think Zest can lose this game anymore. The defense just a little bit too good. Pylon once again repowers all of these batteries. Now Solar's up two workers, which you might think, well, that's, you know, what about those two workers? Yeah, that's true. Two workers up, that's a big deal. Um, but I mean, it's, it seems rough. It seems rough here for Solar, who's uh, rebuilding a couple of Ravagers. Zest perhaps getting a little bit too greedy at this point, getting these extra gateways. Ooh, and die. What? Just defend, my friend. You're so far ahead. Just get a forge, get a cannon. All you need to do at this point is defend because there's still an army out there. Um, as long as you survive, you'll be fine. This army is once again looking pretty scary. 90 supply against 45. There is a nuclear battery. Once again, five batteries are still alive as well. The Immortals doing decent damage against these roaches. First storm hits a lot of the roaches actually. Um, battery in the next one does end up falling. Storm completely whiffs, hits nothing. That's the edge of a road. This is a better storm. Gets a lot of the Ravagers. There's two Immortals. There's two Archons here. Man, oh, three Immortals actually. Where is that nuclear battery? Where is that hardcore battery? Good pickup micro here coming out of Zest. Here comes a nuclear battery. And once again, Zest is closing in on Solar. Solar just does not have the tools to, uh, to deal with this. Calls GG. And Zest is up two to zero. What's up boys in game number three between Solar and Zest in this best of five series. Where Zest is up 2-0. And for once in his life, he doesn't use the fast count. Now that's interesting. Intense one could even say. Very intense gaming. Gas first as well now. Anyone that is a, an avid follower of this channel knows what that means. If you're not an avid follower of the channel, then let me explain it to you. The gas first is here. So you get optimal resource um, mining. So you get the gas faster than you usually do, and you're not going to scout, which means you're going to have 16 workers on minerals at all times, while, and also having one in gas. So usually 
if you get gateway gas, it means your one worker needs to wait for your gas to finish. It's like seven or eight seconds, maybe 10 or 12 seconds, I'm not quite sure. That is like three trips back and forth. So it costs you about 12, 12, maybe 16 gas. Um, cool little fact. There you go. Now you also know what gas first is. And whenever you see a gas first, you're usually always gonna be seeing a no scout. If you see someone play gas first and then scout, um, you're in your full right to call him an idiot because that makes absolutely no sense. Um, very unsafe against 12 pools as well to, to play like that. Any any type of no gas or gas first is kind of unsafe against 12 pools. All right. What do we, do we have here, Mr. Zest? Show us what you can bring to us with your probe. What can you do? What are you going to see? What do your eyes see? What do your hands feel? What does your probe scout? That's going to be the question here. Because of course, this is a late scout, so any type of early game aggression would have already hit him. We're talking 12 pools, 14 pools, certain type of 15 pools, 16 pools. Um, you're just going to be too late and most likely you'll die. Um, Seth here once again, Stargate, man. I actually can't believe it. Just Stargate push into Stargate push. Um, and every single time it's something very aggressive. So I'm curious to see if once again aggression is the answer or what's kicking off here. It was Stargate before Stalker and before Warp Gate. So a pretty fast Stargate. Now this Stalker is going to get Chrono boosted. I think it's going to be just in time to clear this Ling, right? Uh, it's going to need to pop on the inside. Yes, good job there by Zest. We'll be able to clear that link. At least deny vision. First Oracle is on the way. Gonna be expected here by Solar at this point. He saw the late warp gate. He saw the late start of the unit. I mean, this can only indicate a Stargate, really. Nothing else would make any type of sense. Second gateway coming down as well. Good link spread here coming out of solar, just making sure that nothing um, basically runs by his vision. He wants to be sure that he can see everything. Now speed is about to finish. We have a probe in the wall. Is it just a single probe? Yeah, single stalker into Oracle. This seems so risky against any kind of like three base roach bust. Um, well, I don't even quite understand what the single unit is for, honestly. I guess he's just gonna warp in two adepts once the warp gate finishes. Robo goes down, 351. Double gas, this is fast gas. This is reminiscent of that first game once again, where we saw that, that six gate follow up push. Curious to see what Solar will respond this time. Two sentries coming out though. Uh, this is going to be a different build. Now we do have the two oracles on the map. Let's see what they're going to be up to. Once again, very poor overlord spread here by Solar. What is he doing? He has no vision of the edges. How are you going to be able to respond? He doesn't have a spore in time. The oracle defense so far in this series has been kind of atrocious, honestly. Two more gases on the way at 430. That's very fast for gas. This is looking a lot like a queen push. Um, let's see one extra overlord just everything about this feels very queen pushy you see another overlord yeah this is going to be a queen push this kind of fast gas is not common against oracles because you always want to be getting really quick um, minerals I get seven drones after losing four more so this road run timing also is completely insane I mean this, this road run was 15 seconds too fast. Gases are too quick. I, I don't understand what Solar is doing in this game so far. I'm obsessed. Can, yeah, okay, here come roaches. But these are not defensive roaches, right? That's difficult to believe. I hope for Solar is not going to move out because Zest is basically all in him as well. Yeah, this is this is a queen push. It's going to be one of a very late queen push. What the hell? This works, I'm gonna eat a shoe. Like, this is not possible. It's gonna hit it like 620, mate. 
third base will be done. There will be a couple of batteries ready. Look how many four shields there is as well. More oracles are being produced. It's only with three queens. The problem if you only get three queens is the moment four oracles pop, most of the time you're just going to be able to hold. Any time of battery defense is going to be fine as well. Now the reason why Solar can't move forward with these Ravagers is then these two oracles would just simply be too good. Now we have three oracles out already. I'd love to see a fourth oracle come out right now, but we're not seeing it so far. So Zest thinks he can hold with just good force fields, perhaps a nuclear battery. Um, some good immortal micro. Third immortal is about to pop. Yeah, I mean, Zest has so many units. He completely cut worker production as well. Still on only 46 workers. He gives away the ramp, which I'm not a massive fan of. Um, where are all these piles? One battery goes down. There's one battery over here. Three oracles. Oh my god. This is a bad battery overcharge. Not a fan of how that went. A lot of links are going down though. But so are a lot of Zest units. There's still a big Ravager count. A lot of gas is coming in for Solo, of course. On those three gases. Piles hitting absolutely everything. Man, Zest. Micro a little bit, I would say. But perhaps it's not even going to be necessary. As GG gets called. And Zest wins this best of five. Three do nothing. Congratulations to him. If you did like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, smash the like button. I'll see you all next time for a new best of five, best of one, or best of three. We'll see. Bye-bye.